Hello and welcome to this episode of the OnTrack Whiteboard Series. Today, we're going to be talking about snapping, where you can find snapping, why you need snapping, and how snapping is relevant to you as a designer. We're going to be talking about grid snapping, object snapping, and axis snapping today. First, let's talk about where you can find snapping. Snapping can, snapping can be found in really any graphical software package. You can find it in something like PowerPoint, Google Slides, uh, a 2D drawing tool like AutoCAD, or an engineering software like Altium Designer. In PowerPoint, if you're laying down an image, you can have it be placed perfectly at the center, or equidistant from the edge, or equidistant from another image. And the whole point of this is have it clean and presentable for when you show other people. When looking at a CAD package, you want things to be very precise, and snapping can allow you to do that. You can have things perfectly perpendicular, parallel, or if you want to have a line bisect the, a shape of another object, you can do that very easily. In terms of PCB design, snapping can, is really essential when it comes to uh, the schematic. If you want to give your schematic to your manufacturer for debugging, you want them to easily follow along. So if they encounter any problems, they can quickly find a solution or find the problem. In terms of layout, snapping can really maximize your routing channels and minimize the board space. So let's talk about grid snapping first. Grid snapping is really the most basic and you can find everywhere. It's great for drawing if you want to draw maybe like a straight line for uh, your title blocks. Also, it's very helpful for like components, uh, components with the same size and pitch. Things like chip resistors or capacitors, you can have the center of the object snap to the grid. Very useful. But what if you don't have the same type of components, or you know, if you don't all have the same size and pitch? You can use object snapping. So object snapping is great for these situations. So let's have two components here. There we go. Make that nice and neat. We can align the top of these objects together. And then we could maybe do our, our routing and adjustments. It's also great for placing objects. You can place components around an arc. You can place components to a line and make uh, nice lay layouts. You can have precise layouts for precise routing. Next is axis snapping. This is helpful if you want to maybe have uh, text on your silk screen, have it readable. You can place it on an axis. And also maybe something like mounting holes. If you want to align mounting holes along the same axis, you can do that very easily with axis snapping. Also, pad entry if you have um, things aligning to the axis of a pad. The last thing I do want to talk about is the snapping or the concept of a snapping area. And snapping area can be thought of as the event horizon of a black hole, or at least that's how I think of it. So let's say we move our cursor from this side here, and we hit this uh, snapping area. Once we hit this border, we'll snap to the grid. But there is a problem when these overlap. So if we move our cursor this way to the overlapped area, our cursor doesn't know where to go, and that will leave us with not precise placement. You may have encountered this if, you have, if you're placing down a component and it's snapping between two points and you can't get it exactly right. You could have a problem with your snapping area. So what you want to do to avoid this, to have snapping areas that don't overlap, is to have your snapping area, let's call snapping area SA, we want that less than or equal to one half our grid length. And the grid length is from one point of the grid to another. So if you keep that in mind, you will save yourself a lot of, a lot of headache, really. 
So if you like this video, please like. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment. And if you want to see more great content, subscribe. Thank you. I'll see you next time.